Hello, this is Edu Damage, and welcome back to the channel. In this Heartwood Online video, I want to talk to you about magic recipes and how to craft some of the most rare items in the game. There's three main ways that you can obtain these recipes. The first way is from normal mob drops, rare spawns, as well as weapon crates. There is nine total really rare recipes that you get from drops. Again, those are going to be something you're really gonna have to grind and get lucky with. The second way you can get magic recipes is from using ancient curses that you can get through combining cursed pages. We'll cover all of it in the video. And the third way is through ancient hex scrolls that you can use. Now the ancient curse and the ancient hexes can actually be used at this vendor right here. This vendor is located at the very top of the map in the current state of the game. This is up by the Skeletal Faction, the big blue card of gems. And you can see all the recipes that you can buy from this vendor. On the vendor, you're going to see there's different scrolls that you can use to purchase recipes. These white and blue ones are the Curse Scrolls, and these brown ones are the Ancient Hex Scrolls. And the way that you obtain these scrolls to use on this vendor is by combining four Tattered Hex pages. Pages 1 and 2 of the Tattered Hex can drop from the Skeletal Worker 1 and 2, as well as the Cave Rat. And here's a very good area that you can actually farm for those in. Pages 3 and 4 do drop from the Skeletal Miners and Skeletal Dogs, and so this is going to be your next area that you're going to want to farm for pages 3 and 4. Once you've gotten these to drop, they have a pretty low drop rate in my experience. Once you have all four pages, you can go ahead and click on them and combine them into your Ancient Hex. The Ancient Hex is that first piece that you need here to spend at the vendor. Once you have that, you can figure out what recipe you want to actually purchase. And in this video, we're going to be focusing on the Pillar of Balance, since I've already made that one, and I'm not sure what I want to craft next. Once you figured out which recipe you want to buy from the vendor, you can go ahead and just use your Ancient Curse and purchase it from the vendor there. The recipe will then show up in your bag, which you can right-click and use, assuming you're high enough level to use that recipe. Now, keep in mind, these recipes are a one-time use. So for the Pillar of Balance, that is a woodworking recipe. You have to be woodworking level 15 to make it. And then you'll go to your workbench. Make sure you have all of your materials. Keep in mind, each recipe uses different base weapons to craft. I recommend this website called Heartwood Atlas. This is a really good database, and you can figure out exactly what materials you need for the entire recipe. I'll have the link for that website down in the description below the video. The majority of the magic recipes will require you to have a lumen crystal. Some require you to have more than one lumen crystal to craft. The pillar of balance, you only needed one, I believe. But the way that you're going to get them is you're going to come into the mines. And right here's where you enter the mines and you're gonna come up here and up to the top bridge and across to this giant crystal right here. And this is actually a repeatable quest where you can turn in 250 lumen shards. These lumen shards drop from the skeletons in the mines and other mobs in the mine. They're a really pretty common drop. You just need a lot of them. So it's 250 shards for one full crystal. And yeah, it is a repeatable quest. You can see right here, I'll go ahead and turn in two, get my two lumen crystals here. And again, I think you only needed one for the Pillar of Balance. That's how you turn the shards into crystals. Once you have the recipe in your bag, you're just going to go ahead and click on the recipe here and click Learn. Once you've actually learned the recipe, it will show up at your crafting bench. Again, Pillar of Balance is a woodworking recipe and you need to be level 15. But once you're in here, you can see what materials are needed. For this one, we needed a skeletal staff and the lumen crystal. You can get the skeletal staff to drop from the skeletons in the mines. And there you go. That's how you make Pillar of Balance. The other magic weapons work in a pretty similar way. So this should give you a good idea of the process that you need to go through to make these rare weapons using magic recipes. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.